Okay, hi friends. So this is part two of the mega thread, the mega worn thread number two. I like uh, Eric Garland. He has worked in intelligence, uh, counter espionage, I believe, counter intelligence. He's a futurist. He really like he breaks this stuff down so well when we get these mass uh, documents or these long, complex um, live hearings. So this is uh, number two. I just did number one. On a side note, I want to let you guys know there is a ton of stuff going down between Australia and China um, regarding the virus. Australia is wanting to do investigations. China is now behaving like North Korea to them in their defiance and their utterly undiplomatic responses. There's a lot going on down in Brazil with Bolsonaro and his sons getting caught up in fake news, um, uh, fake news farms and racketeering. I think that this is not going to help. Today is an eclipse click day. So here is Mega Warrant thread number two. I'm just reading aloud, you guys, so that I can enjoy this with you because uh, we are, we've got a close date. We have good news finally happening behind the scenes. Okay, so recap from Eric Garland. Warrants 1 through 4 of 33 in the Roger Stone case established that Stone, Infowars, WikiLeaks, and Russian intelligence conspired against America for Trump. Ooh, i got to show this thread. What do we have here? Loading. Mueller's team began executing additional search warrants in August 2017 against Stone. Federal investigations were already underway. At the end of Warrant 4, a redacted figure was excitedly communicating that Turkey, Erdogan's regime anyway, was going to support Trump. Oh, goodness. I'm going to get lost here. So Turkey is for Trump. Here we go. Make sure I get to the correct... So the warrant states, number 45, on or about July 17, 2016, using the Target account, emailed Stone that he had, my tickets to Cleveland, do you have my credential pack? Appears to be referencing the Republican National Convention held in Cleveland. 46, on about July 25, 2016, using the Target account, forwarded an email to Stone and Corsi with the subject line, quote, forward, the Bill Gates of Turkey wants to create a campaign for Donald J. Trump in Turkey, end quote. Blank wrote, do you want to have a talk about this? Turkey is for Trump. Below was a forwarded message sent to the Target account from an individual who stated that he had been contacted by the Bill Gates of Turkey in regards to creating a robust campaign for Mr. Donald J. Trump. So Turkey wanted to support them. On to warrant number five. NDCA executed, executed, that's the Northern District of California, executed this warrant for Google to turn over electronic evidence. And it looks like FBI counterintelligence is running the investigation. investigation. Remember, counterintelligence is all about espionage. This attachment, they state, located North, the Northern District of California, there is now concealed... The basis for the search under Federal Criminal 4, 4 P41, there is evidence of crime, contraband fruits of crime or other items Ill illegally possessed, property, property designed for use, intended for use, or used in committing a crime. The search is related to a violation of the U.S. Code, fraud and related activities in connection with computers, conspiracy against the United States, oh, aiding and abetting, hello, treason, foreign contribution ban. Goes on to describe in more t detail that the target account, an email address associated with blank, described further in attachment A maintained by Google. The information to be disclosed by Google here after the provider and searched by the government is described in the following paragraphs and in attachments A and B. This affidavit is made in support of an application for a search warrant under U.S. 18 Code. Hmm. Number two, I am a special agent with, F with the Federal Bureau of Investigations. 
FBI, assigned to FBI headquarters, working directly with the special counsel's office. I have been a special agent with the FBI since 2010. Since then, I have conducted national security investigations of foreign intelligence services, espionage, and counter-proliferation matters. I have training and experience related to espionage and foreign intelligence services, national security investigations. You guys, this is real stuff. This is treason. So, now this is a December 17, 2017 warrant, but it builds on evidence found in the prior warrants. The summary shows how Stone, Infowars, WikiLeaks, and Russian Intel worked together in 2016 and beyond. Summary. Six. On or about July 25, 2016, Roger Stone emailed Jerome Corsi to get to Assange in person at the Ecuadorian Embassy and get pending WikiLeaks emails. On or about August 1, 2016, Stone also instructed Corsi to have blank blank, the user of the Target account, contact Julian Assange. On or about August 2, 2016, Corsi responded to Stone that the, wor quote, word is friend in embassy, Assange, plans two more dumps, one shortly. This appears to be a Google warrant for Julian Assange working with InfoWars directly in London through Jerome Corsi. Here, there's a celebration of Trump's win. 7. On or about November 13, 2016, blank, using the Target account, emailed Stone to congratulate him on, quote, taking the country back, end quote, and stating, quote, you deserve a lot of credit in working with you and Jerry Corsi, who is with me now in London, has been a great joy, end quote. On or about July 7, 2017, blank, using the Target account, emailed recipients about John Podesta going fishing. By December 2017, the FBI is calling it straight. These warrants are for Stone, WikiLeaks, InfoWars, and the Trump campaign. Conspiring with Russian intelligence, the GRU or GRU. The warrant says, D, the group relayed material it acquired from the DNC and senior Democratic officials to WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks was most likely chosen because of its self-proclaimed reputation for authenticity. Disclosures through WikiLeaks did not contain any evident forgeries. E. The Kremlin's principal international propaganda outlet, RT, formerly Russia Today, has actively collaborated with WikiLeaks. RT's editor-in-chief visited WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange at the Ecuadorian Embassy in London in August 2013, where they discussed renewing his broadcast contract with RT. According to Russian and Western media, Russian media has subsequently announced that RT had become, quote, the only Russian media company, end quote, to partner with WikiLeaks and had received access to, quote, the new leaks of secret information, end quote. This isn't straight, it just says. As is evident in several warrants, the mainstream media worked with this conspiracy. Here, an MSNBC producer, a flipping producer, you guys, is passing along the narrative from WikiLeaks. Journalism doesn't do that. Ugh. It states... Please load. 32. On Sunday, October 2, 2016, MSNBC morning, Joe producer Jesse Rodriguez tweeted, tweeted, regarding an announcement Julian Assange had scheduled for the next day from the balcony of the Ecuadorian embassy in London. On the day of, Assange, of the Assange announcement, which was part of WikiLeaks' 10-year anniversary celebration. Remember this? Stone told InfoWars that his intermediary described this release as, quote, the mother load, end quote. 33. On Tuesday, October 4, 2016, Stone used at Roger J. Stone Jr. to tweet, quote, payload coming, quote, lock, uh, hashtag lock them up, end quote. 34. As discussed above, on Friday, October 7, 2016, WikiLeaks began to release emails that had been hacked from John Podesta's personal email account. Stone and Manafort, Trump's campaign chairman, 
work together on propaganda operations with Russian intelligence. The Warren states 43. On September 11, 2017, Chief Judge Beryl A. Howell of the District of Columbia issued a search warrant for Stone's blank address, blank emails recovered pursuant to that search warrant indicated the following. 44. On or about June 20, 2016, using the Target account, emailed Stone and Paul Manafort, the chair, campaign chairman, asking to, quote, know immediately how I can help, end quote. The campaign also wrote that his, quote, research on the Rhodes House, end quote, was nearing completion. The, quote, Rhodes House, end quote, research appears to be a reference to Stone's previous tweet on or about October 13, 2015, that, quote, in 1969, Bill Clinton was expelled from Oxford for raping 19-year-old blank, end quote. Rhodes House is the headquarters of the Rhodes Trust, and Stone mentioned blank again to blank a month later, as discussed below. While Stone and Infowars work with Russian intelligence to disseminate stolen data from the DNC, Trump begins normalizing the stuff in public, asking for help from Russia directly. The Warren states, 48, according to records, blank, 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 approximately 90 minutes later, Stone called Corsi and they spoke for 26 minutes. 49, less than two hours after the phone call to Corsi, Stone emailed Corsi with the subject line, quote, get to Assange, end quote. The body of the message read, quote, get to Assange at Ecuadorian Embassy in London and get pending WikiLeaks emails. They deal with foundation allegedly, end quote. Appears that Stone cut and pasted the email from blank to Corsi. 50. On or about July 27, 2016, then-candidate Donald Trump stated in a press conference, quote, Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 Hillary Clinton emails that are missing. I think you will probably be rewarded mightily by our press. Let's see if that happens. That will be next, end quote. Manafort and Stone had their longest call ever a couple days after Trump was openly begging for help from Russian intelligence. 52. On or about July 30, 2016, Paul Manafort, then the chairman of the campaign, called Stone. The two spoke for approximately an hour and seven minutes. The government has analyzed toll records from January 1, 2016 to November 9, 2016. 67 minutes is the longest call by almost a half hour that took place between Stone and Manafort in this time period. The next day, Stone talked to Manafort's partner, Rick Gates, and then he emailed Corsi from InfoWars about recruiting Larry Sanders, brother of Bernie Sanders, about accusing Bill Clinton of rape at Oxford. 53. On or by about July 31, 2016, Stone called Gates, and the two spoke for approximately five minutes. Approximately 90 minutes later, Stone emailed Corsi at, with the subject line, quote, call me Mund, end quote. The body read, blank, blank should see Assange. Blank should find Bernie Sanders' brother who called Bill a rapist. Turn him for Trump. Blank should find blank or more proof of Bill getting kicked out. Larry Sanders lives in England and appears to be a real treat. In case anyone forgot his comments, while well, Bernie spent nine minutes pretending to be a member of the Democratic Party. Bernie Sanders' brother, he backs class warfare. Bill Clinton was, this is the article, Larry Sanders says Bill Bernie is a genuine socialist trying to save the Democratic Party from Bill Clinton, who is either a terrible rapist or it's from the Daily Beast. You guys can look that up. It sure looks like there's a connection between Turkey Stone and Infowars feeding Donald Trump propaganda tactics during the 2016 campaign. These are illegal foreign contributions, if nothing else. 61. On or about November 1, 2016, Blank, using the Target account, emailed Corsi and Stone with the subject, quote, Turkey's a go, full green light, end quote. Blank wrote, Blank, my good friend Hussein will be caking... Kicking you, he is in the president's office. The call is a go. He has all the information you and DJT need for the article and another October surprise, end quote. Of course, he emailed back to the target account, account and Stone, 
quote, and I have everything in progress for a phone call tomorrow with DJT. I'm working with Roger Stone to accomplish this. Roger is copied above, so he is up to date on status, end quote. Turkish dictator, I don't even know how to say his name, Recep Tayyip Erdogan used Stone and Infowars as a back channel to Trump during the 2016 campaign. I cannot believe they already had their back. I'm going to lose. Mm. Keep reading. Keep reading. Keep reading. 62. On or about November 2, 2016, Blank, using the Target account, wrote to Stone and Corsi. The, quote, the message from President Erdogan has been sent to you for DJT has just been wrapped in an article about baseball as a header. If there is a response, please let me know, end quote. 63. Okay, yeah, they're sending their messages right out in the wide open. Ugh. 63. On or about November 13, 2016, using the Target account emailed Stone, Blank wrote, Well, we did it and now have an opportunity of a lifetime to take the country back. God is good and we are well placed to steer things. You deserve a lot of credit and working with you and Jerry Corsi, who is with me now in London, has been a great joy, end quote. Reminder, Lieutenant, Lieutenant General Mike Flynn wrote op-eds in support of the Turkish dictator on our election day in 2016. Oh my God, I forgot about that. So this is from The Hill. Our ally Turkey is in crisis and needs our support. Opinion, it's imperative that we remember who our real friends are. I remember that. That was gross. Okay, whoever owned this Target account at Google also communicated with other members of the Trump campaign during 2016 while this conspiracy was ongoing. E, blank use of the Target account to communicate with other campaign officials. 66, according to documents produced by the campaign both voluntarily, blank, 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 has used the Target account to correspond with individuals throughout the campaign. For example, on or about October 23, 2015, blank, using the Target account email, blank, 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 stating that, quote, it was so good talking to you earlier in the week. It has sustained me all week. Thank you for your contribution to this campaign and to our great country. I look forward to working with you on a host of things, end quote. 67, on or about February 28, 2016, using the Target account emailed, blank, 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 with the subject line and a quote, Trump on Putin, end quote. The text of the message read, quote, pass this to Donald, end quote, and contained an article by Corsi about how Putin, quote, feared impact on his plans if Trump takes victory, end quote. Oh my gosh, I remember that garbage. I remember that. I remember thinking that's a bunch of BS. Warrant number six, March 14, 2018, appears to be for Roger Stone's iPhone and associated services with Apple. Look at the list of felonies. Attachment A, this is for the search under, for evidence of a crime, contraband, fruits of a crime, or other illegal items possessed, property designed for use, intended for use, or used in committing a crime, for aiding and abetting, accessory after the fact, misprison of a fel felony, conspiracy, computer fraud, wire fraud, attempt and conspiracy to commit wire fraud, and foreign expenditure ban. That's why they got the search warrants. The FBI is tasking special agents adept in counterintelligence and cybersecurity for this inve investigation. Holy crap. Introduction and Asian background one, I make this affidavit in support of an application for a search warrant for information associated with the following Apple accounts. Redacted. That is stored at premises owned, maintained, controlled, or operated by Apple Inc., a business with offices located in California. The information to be disclosed by Apple and searched by the government is described in the following paragraphs in attachments A and B. This affidavit is made in support of application for a search warrant. Two, I, Curtis Hyde, have been a special agent with the FBI for 11 years. In the course of my duties, I've been responsible for investigating federal crimes and national security matters involving both counterintelligence and issues related to cybersecurity. Oh, my God. 
Rod remember, Roger Stone is only getting sentenced for lying to the FBI, correct? Just to recap the legendary OPSEC here, Stone was using Twitter DMs, Hotmail, Gmail, YouTube, and a consumer iPhone to coordinate the whole treason thing. Dumb. So dumb. Five, as set forth below, Roger Stone communed directly via Twitter with WikiLeaks Julian Assange and Guccifer 2.0, a Twitter account used to disseminate hacked information. Stone, using his blank account, also emailed instructions to Jerome Corsi to, quote, get Assange in person at the Ecuadorian embassy and, quote, get pending WikiLeaks emails. Oh, my God. Corsi emailed Stone back that it was, quote, time to let more than Podesta, time to let more than Podesta to be exposed before any of Podesta's emails were leaked. After Podesta's emails were leaked, Corsi emailed Stone's talking points about Podesta. Corsi also emailed Stone to convey information, quote, from a very trusted source, end quote, regarding Julian Assange, WikiLeaks, and potential future disclosures. Bannon, Steve freaking Bannon also sent text messages to Stone. Damn discussing potential upcoming leaks by Assange. Oh my God. The target accounts are Stone's iCloud accounts, which are registered to the email account Stone used to communicate with Corsi. That is dumb. Okay, 20, 21 minutes. I'm going to stop here. Hopefully I will pick this up later. We'll see. Have fun with this, you guys. Uh, we are in good, good space right now. Okay, thanks. <laughs>